Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square of an unknown dimension in two squares that are adjacent to each other and they overlap this black square the, with the black sides in an area which is of the blue region. And we are required to find the area of the blue region. Okay, so for the first method is we are going to label this distance as B. Okay, so this would be B. And if that is B, then since this side of this blue square is 8, so this side will be 8 minus B. And next is we get the difference of the distance of these two try uh, right squares this red and blue square so if one is eight then this dimension or segment should be three and okay so next is we draw a line from this point and continue it until the side of the blue square and another point from this corner of the square. And we notice that if this is B, then this is also B, and this is B, and this is 8 minus B. And label this as 5. And this is 5 also. And okay, this whole length is actually 8. This line runs low. Because it is parallel to the side of the square. So this will be 8. Okay, so next thing that we need to do is we need to focus on this triangle. This triangle, this is actually a right triangle and this other triangle okay so they are actually two similar triangles since if this is a and this should be a complementary b then this should is 90 and since this is a square this blue square then this should be a and this should be b and if this is a then this should be b and this should be a so to put it simply these two triangles are actually similar okay so for the first triangle we have 5 over 5 plus b this shorter leg over this longer leg 5 plus b the first triangle and for this it is equal to a ratio of this other triangle and the same corresponding length we have 8 minus b all over 8 for the longer leg of the second triangle so by cross multiplying we have 40 is equal to 8 minus b times 5 plus b okay so 40 again copying is equal to 40 then we have for the out uh, the insides we have negative 5b then plus 8b minus b squared so we just cancel this 40 and simplify this this becomes 3b minus b squared and if we multiply it by negative 1 we have b squared minus 3b is equal to 0.
Okay, so next is we solve this resulting quadratic equation. So for this type of quadratic equation, this is an easy one. We can solve this easily by factoring. So we can factor out b and b minus 3 is equal to 0. So b is equal to 0 and the other one is b minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have b is equal to 3. And from these two solutions, this would be invalid because there is no zero distance. So we will consider this only b is equal to 3. Okay, so now for the final step is we now find the area since we know the value of b. So it is now easy for us to calculate the area, but in this case, we we'll just subdivide this into portions. So, this first portion, let us label this first portion. I shade it. And area total is equal to one half of the first shaded portion. So, one half times this is since B is 3, then the base is 5 plus 3 times the height which is 5 then plus this portion shaded so we have 8 minus b and that is 8 minus 3 and this would be 5 so 1 half times the base which is 5 5 and the height is 8 and for this region this is actually a square because we have found out that b is 3 and one side is given as 3 so this is actually 9 so we have this is actually 8 so 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 5 that will be 20 and same with this 8 divided by 2 4 times 5 equals 20 plus 9 so area total so area total is actually equal to 49 square units and that is our answer okay so now for the second method is to focus on this area this blue triangle area with a longer length of 8 okay okay so we label this angle as a and if this is a this should be a complementary angle so we label this as b this is actually a right triangle because the blue triangle is a square Okay, so it should be a right triangle and since this is 90 degrees this angle here then this should be a complement of b which is a and since if we look at this corner of this square this is of course a 90 degree angle and this angle should be a complement of this angle a so angle b and notice that these two triangles this red this part of the red square and a uh, small blue and this i mean the tri right triangle on the top and the right triangle on the left they have a hypotenuse which is of the same length because it is actually the side of the square so if we label this side of the square as c and this is c then by angle side angle congruence these two triangles are actually congruent so if they are congruent then this leg is also 5 and this 
length is actually 8 units. Okay, so if this is angle A on the bottom of this figure, this A, then this should be B, and this should be A, complement of B. And next is we draw a line from this point of the blue square down to the corner of the largest square. Then this should be also 90 degrees. And this should be also 5. And since this is the hypotenuse, then this triangle is also congruent with the triangle two triangles earlier so this is congruent to this and this and this okay so next is we take note of this distance again this is actually earlier for the first method we got this as three because eight minus five is three and also notice again that this is actually a right angle because this is from two adjacent squares so this is again a right triangle, this triangle. And they are actually congruent with this, the first white triangle earlier. Okay, so now we are ready to find the area of this blue region. So this blue region is simply the area of the square. And we need to subtract this area of the blue. Simply area of the square minus the area of these two triangles, these two white right triangles. So two times area of the WT, WRT, let's call this WRT. Okay, so but the sides, I mean the area of the square is actually equal to the square of the area of the two legs because as you can see it is a the longer the hypotenuse is actually the hypotenuse of the two legs of the five unit uh, side and the eight unit side so we have eight square plus five square so this is actually the area of the square minus two times one half times 8 times 5 so we have area of the blue area of the blue is actually equal to 89 minus 40 8 times 5 is 40 so we have area of the blue is equal to 49 square units same as the answer that we got earlier for the first method and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye